Harold Maxwell told us more about that from the Elysee Presidential Palace. So this weekly cabinet meeting has been brought forward exceptionally by a day for two reasons. The first was uh, ostensibly for Prince Ch uh, King Charles sorry's visit, which is, was of course cancelled because of the turmoil on the country. And the second was because of the tense political situation currently. Uh, there's the big question, of course, is whether the government can continue to govern uh, given the hardened opposition against it in the National Assembly and uh, not just there, also in the unions and with the general public. Public. There are also doubts over the future of the Prime Minister, Elisabeth, Elisabeth Borne. Uh, and yesterday we saw two polls coming out which showed that President Macron's popularity had plummeted to 28 percent, which is the lowest it's been since the start of the Yellow Vest protest movement in 2018. The same for Elisabeth, Elisabeth Borne. Her popularity is also at 28 percent. Only 28 percent of people approve of her recent actions, uh, such as pushing through the controversial pension reform. Uh, so given all this, the government is trying to turn the page. It's trying to uh, build um Build, un uh, build bridges with the other parties. It wants to try and enlarge its uh, majority in the National Assembly and also uh, build bridges with the unions. It's offered to discuss uh, other things like labour law and the sort of the, uh, the laboriousness or the wear and tear of work, which also came up a lot over the last few months during these uh, protests. But they say they will not discuss the pension reform. That is not on, a, on, on the table. And until then, the unions are categorically refusing to come to the table. Uh, so very, very tense uh, political situation. And this, of course, against the backdrop of a tenth day of national strikes and protests in the country.